Hey everybody, Barb from the Shabby Tree here. Happy Friday, everybody. Are you all enjoying your Friday? Guys, it is absolutely beautiful here in Georgia and that is why I'm outside right now. Well, I'm outside for a couple reasons. I've got to show you something. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Barb from the Shabby Tree. If you are not following the Shabby Tree, you've got to follow because guys, we've been creating some crazy things here. So that is a faux barrel. That's made out of a cardboard box, guys. That's made out of a cardboard box. I absolutely love that thing. You can see how we did that here. It is on my blog page. It is on a video. That is a faux wooden crate made out of styro, um, foam board. Sorry, made out of foam board. And then behind that, that's our foam barn door. All decorative little pieces, guys. They're not complicated to make. Now, I seem to be on a faux wood kick. So I was trying to think of something. I use a lot of grapevine wreaths here at the Shabby Tree, but grapevine wreaths have been hit and miss lately, guys, ever since the virus. I'm not sure why. Now you can find them here and there, and sometimes a grapevine wreath can cost a couple dollars. I came up with a, a different way to create, not a grapevine wreath, but a wreath that has a little bit of a faux wood look to it. And hello, it's a pool noodle. So go to the Dollar Tree. You can find pool noodles all over the place right now. You can find them in Walmart now too. So you're gonna start commenting below and you're gonna tell me ideas you would use. So we need to connect these two ends to hello, create this to look like a wreath. Now for me, I'm gonna use this little piece of PVC pipe. It's about four inches long, I guess. I have no idea how long it is. It's a scrap piece I have. Now, you do wanna make sure whatever you use, a piece of PVC pipe, a like tree limb, whatever you've got laying around, you wanna make sure it's gonna fit snug in this hole of the pool noodle. So do you see how this really fits snug in there? Now, <laughs> sorry guys, I am gonna use hot glue. Now. I know this is foam, the hot glue is gonna melt the pool noodle a little bit, but it's all gonna work out, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm using the hot glue, I'm gonna put hot glue on both ends of my little piece of PVC pipe. So I'm gonna shove this one, that's got the hot glue on here. I'm going to shove this down in this piece of the pool noodle right here. Now, this piece has got to go into here. You don't want your piece of your PVC pipe, your limb, whatever, you don't want it too long because then it's not going to let your pool noodle curve, okay? This one might even be too long, but we're going to go with it, okay? So now I'm going to put glue all around this. I am going to put some hot glue right around this end of the pool noodle to try and help really secure the two ends of the pool noodle together. We're gonna see what happens here, okay? So now push it down really, really, really snug, okay? And then hold it for a few seconds really tight because you really want the ends to stick together. Oh gosh, guys, the pollen's getting to me. Okay, you really want your ends to stick together. Okay, while I'm holding this, I'm gonna tell you a few other things you're gonna need. Now, we want this to look, Ha <laughs> ha is that not crazy? Okay, so look, I'm gonna make this look like faux wood, but you don't have to. Guys, you could paint this stinking thing red, white, and blue if you want to. Now, what I am gonna do, because I want it to look like wood, I want like little indentions in here to kind of represent or represent, kind of make it look like the grain of the wood. Okay, so hello, I'm gonna use a quick little box cutter here. I'm gonna keep my hand on here for a few minutes, hoping that this is gonna secure this. Now, I take the box cutter, and all I did was do little wavy lines. And then I came around the other side and did little wavy lines like this. Now, then I took my finger and I kind of came in. Now look, this is on the blog. It's on the blog today. You can see step-by-step -step photos of exactly how I did this. But a lot of people like video instead. And I was reading the comments under my blog and a lot of you were saying, I sure would like to know how you got paint to stick to your um, to your pool noodle because you guys have tried it and it doesn't stick. Mayan is, I'm not having no problem. I'm gonna show you the paints I used, okay? So do you see how that kind of made like a little indention? All right, so I did this. Let's see how this is coming along. Okay, so do you see, now this is not gonna come apart, but do you see how I have that little space right there and everything? I did try and shove like hot glue down in there and hold it again. It is gonna melt your pool noodle a little bit, but it's all gonna work out and I'm gonna show you why it's gonna work out, okay? So don't expect it to go and be like this. Don't expect it to just be totally closed like this and snug, all right? You're gonna have a little space here and there 
but we're making a well ha, we're making a faux wood wreath so it's okay if you get little spaces and i'm going to show you when we're painting it okay so you are going to continually come around and you are just going to keep making little zigs little ziggy, ziggy lines right you're going to take your finger and you're going to dig in now sometimes when you dig in you can even pull some of it out. You know how wood sometimes has like knots in it and all this kind of stuff. So do you see how I did that? It's okay. You want to give this to make, you want to create like a rough piece of wood that you formed into a stinking wreath. Okay. Now you see how that has that little gap there. It's okay. Leave it. It's not going to affect anything. Okay. Now when you get this together and then you get all your little wavy grooves, you want a ton of them. Okay. This video has got to be kind of quick, so I'm not going to sit here and do the whole thing. Plus it's on the blog. Okay. So I get the whole thing all with my little wavy lines and my grooves, right? Then what I did was this paint worked for me, guys. This is Waverly chalk paint and it's called ink. It's black. It's just called the ink color. So maybe you need to do the first coat of chalk paint. That's what I did. So look, it's just this guys. I took this and I painted it on here. It stuck no problem whatsoever. So I'm going to say maybe the trick is that look, this is the first time I've ever painted a pool noodle. I've never painted a pool noodle. It's the first time. So what I'm going to tell you is chalk paint worked for me. Okay. It's on here. Do you see it? It's not coming off. It took one coat, only one coat. Okay. Then what I did was this uh, Americana paint by Deco Art. I took burnt umber and I took espresso because they were two browns and they're two different shades. Do you see? I did the espresso first. And what I did was I took the espresso paint and I pretty much covered almost, I didn't completely cover the black, but a lot of it. You'll see it on the blog. I show you the picture. So you, you come around and what I did was just this and I went over the whole wreath. Do you see it? And I did all of the browns. You're just going to play around. You're going to see how dark you want it. You know, wood, like an old piece of wood. This is supposed to look like an old, old piece of barn wood. So an old piece of barn wood is going to look all worn and everything. Now, then I did the whole wreath with the espresso. After the espresso dried, then I took the burnt umber because it's just a darker brown. Do you see the difference? Then I took the burnt umber and then over the espresso, I came around and I went all around here and there with the burnt umber. And as you keep doing that, it's going to give you a wood color. It's exactly what I did with all of these back here. Now, are y'all ready for the magic? Okay. I'm not going to sit here and paint that whole thing with you. You guys know how to paint, right? I'm just here to show you, connect the pool noodle, make it into a, a perfectly round and oval, whatever you want to do. Work your magic, get creative, have fun. Guys, come on, look at the fun we're creating, right? Then what I did was I took some ribbons and I just got crazy creative and I created, created it how I want it. Now look, this is not for everybody and I know that. Not, not all of these are for everybody either. That's why we are continually doing different things here at the Shabby Tree. One day it could be a faux wood, the next day it could be something lacy. But guys, come on, are you seeing this? So do you see how I added the browns all over the black just like that? And then this is supposed to look like little indentions in the wood. I took two strips of burlap, I knotted it up here. Hello, it's a foam pool noodle. So my little greenery sprig is just stuck right into the pool noodle. And then this is just stuck into the pool noodle. This We created this here at the Shabby Tree. This just was a little sign that said thankful. Look, it's all just stuck in here. And then I glued it to a piece of a tree stick and I stuck it down in the pool noodle. Guys, you just got to get creative. So listen, this is so stinking easy to create. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of it. It is on the blog along with all those amazing things right there. So guys, listen, follow the Shabby Tree, like, follow, plant the shabby tree. Everybody, thanks for watching and hanging out with me. Have an amazing weekend.